Good morning, Miss Erica. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Mr. Manny? Oh, I am wonderfully blessed as always. Thank you so much. And congratulations on your film, Cirque du Soleil, Worlds Away. It's quite a spectacle. <laughs> it's beautiful, I think. I think it's an extraordinary thing, and I'm really excited for it to come out on Friday. It is fun, yeah, it's perfect for the holiday season. Now, let's talk quickly about Miss Erica. So you started as a singer and gymnast. How mm -hmm. did you work your way into the magical world of Cirque du Soleil? Um, I did a lot of singing and a lot of gymnastics as a kid, and that kind of led me to theater, where I started having little roles in musicals and that kind of thing. Um, and I found out that I preferred performing to competing, so I kind of kept dabbling in those worlds for a while. Uh, after I graduated high school, I flew out to Las Vegas and was looking for the magic of the world of Cirque du Soleil, and was really fortunate to get to audition and was cast in a show called Mystere. So I worked with them for 10 years, and then... Um, and then suddenly, this amazing project, uh, Cirque du Soleil Worlds Away, came up. And they asked me if I would be interested in auditioning. And I said, absolutely, yes, please, let's go. And so I did it. And then we made this beautiful film. And now I'm talking to you in Palm Springs. Oh, yeah, without batting an eyelash, you just said, Hell, yes. Now, did you get excited, though, that the movie has the support of no other than Mr. James Cameron himself? Yeah, you know, I kind of think that it was... It was the right time. 2012 was the year to, uh, to make this film and to release it because up until now I don't know that there was the technology out there to really do justice to the live performances of Cirque du Soleil. So they brought him on board. He was kind of the guardian of the visuals and the guardian of the technology. And then you had Andrew Adamson, who's known for Shrek and the Chronicles of Narnia, who created this beautiful kind of fantasy world and story um, to bring all these shows together. So it's a pretty remarkable collaboration. Wow. No. Let's talk about your character, Mia. How did, what, what, what attracted you to her? She is kind of, I think everybody can relate to her in a way. That Mia is, she's a young lady who's maybe a little bit quirky, doesn't quite fit in where she's from, and she stumbles upon this dilapidated circus. But basically, she's somebody who's looking for something more extraordinary than what it is that surrounds her every day. She gets swept away into this whimsical world of Cirque du Soleil, and she is... Um, she is seeking Igor Zeripov, who is, uh, is this guy that she shares this, this love interest with. And she's kind of on a quest through these strange and wonderful things. But I think we can all relate to kind of being in a place that we're stuck. We're looking for something more extraordinary. It's just she happens to, she happens to get out there to this colorful other universe and actually find it. Oh, no, you know, the most important thing for me, um, Miss Erica, in this movie is that you get the sense of the performer's passion about their craft. Yeah, it's true. It gives you an opportunity to come closer to the action than anybody has ever gotten to go before. And they've done cool things where with the technology they're able to slow things down to a level that you can see the expressions on the faces of an acrobat as yeah. they're flying outside of a wheel or at these really intense moments of kind of danger and beauty which is something that Andrew Adamson was really focused on. Um, you see kind of the connection of the eyes of two characters as their hands are coming and and catching and that's their safety and that's you know their longevity like all exists inside of that one moment and we finally as an audience get to almost share that with the performers. Oh and we love sharing it getting it from you to Miss Erica. Now, you're not quite worlds away, but I want to wish you and your family a happy holiday season. And happy holidays <laughs> to you, Manny. All right, bye. Congrats on the film again. Thank you.